Welcome to the Worthington Park Mansion. My name is Christine Stanley. I am the current chairperson of the museum, and I'll be one of a number of people describing the house to you. Describing its history, its furnishings, and what it was like both to live in the house and to restore it. If you're listening to this, you have already accessed the Digital Dose and Playlist, a series of 12 short YouTube videos. Follow them in order and they will lead you on an educational 45 minute tour of the mansion or play the videos for only those rooms you are interested in. We'll begin here in the entry foyer with a short history of the house. The Hamilton Worthington Mansion was originally built in 1892 for M.F. Hamilton. Mr. Hamilton ran the local goods store where the Peninsula Food Store is now. He lost the house during the 1893 economic crash and ended up becoming the sheriff of Port Townsend. The house was sporadically rented or was vacant until 1907 when William J. Worthington bought the house and moved with his wife Grace and their eight children. All eight children, two girls, six boys went to school in Quilcene and all eight went on to get college degrees. When Robert, one of the children, inherited the house, he became the third generation to enjoy this house with his family. During this period, the appearance of the house changed. Most significantly, the mansard roof was removed and replaced with an ordinary pitched roof. The Worthington family donated the land for the museum in 1991, and the museum bought the entire property, all 10 acres, in 2013 from Eileen Worthington, and that was Robert's second wife. Eileen was well known in Quilsey. Here's Mary Phillips to tell us a bit more about Eileen and how the museum was able to purchase the property. Hi and welcome. My name is Mary Phillips and I was born and raised here in Quilsey. I was a very proud chair of the Quilsey Historical Museum for years. But as a child, I spent my happy times with Ellen Worthington Jenner in this very wonderful old house. And as you can see, the craftsmanship is amazing. It's a beautifully refurbished house on a beautiful plot of land. We have many to thank for this amazing place, but none more than Eileen Worthington, the second wife of Robert. Robert lived most of his life in this house. He and Eileen loved to entertain here but bad health forced Robert to live his last years of his life in a care facility. Eileen was known in Quilcene for her very generous nature. She gave the land on which the museum sits. Because of that gift, my friend Larry McKeon, the Quilcene historical secretary, and I approached Eileen about an option to buy her house in acreage. She was a bit taken back and replied, but I'm still here. We replied to her that she'd make a wonderful, marvelous exhibit. She shot right back with, oh no, I want to greet them at the door. Eileen was very proud this house and property would go on to be the legacy for the entire Worthington family. Thank you, Mary. The goal of the museum was to restore the house to its original 1890 style by adding the mansard roof back on. Over 45,000 volunteer hours, over 1.6 million in grants and private donations have created this house before you. Many items in the house are original to the house, most of the others are period, meaning that they are antiques and not reproductions. An example of this is the ceiling fixture right here in the entry hallway, true to the period with original etched glass. Just have a little chat about the front porch here. It was totally removed. This is all brand new woodwork up here. But we had a very old picture of the, the mansion and we blew it up and we blew it up so we could get the detailing that you see on this front porch here. Let's step into the parlor. 